So you've decided you want to make your AI wife, and you fire up your Ubable Detect Gen Web UI, and things are going pretty well, but you need a more immersive experience. So you fire up your silly tavern front end, but still, you're missing just one thing. Silly Tavern supports dynamic character portraits. But how do I make them, you ask? Why, stable diffusion, of course. I'm gonna show you a really easy way to generate character portraits. So if you don't know what Silly Tavern is, it's a front end that lets you interface with a text generation backend. That backend could be the Ubabuga Text Gen Web UI, Stable Horde, Chat GPT, all kinds of different ways to get your text. And what Silly Tavern offers is a nice front end, a nice way to make persistent characters and a persistent world. It's perfect for making roleplay stories with your AI character. So Silly Tavern has an optional extras module. It does things like summarizing the story, stable diffusion integration, text-to-speech, and what I'd like to talk to you about today, which is what it calls emotion classification. You see, it's capable of analyzing the responses of your character and classifying an emotion to them. Then each of those emotions are assigned a different character portrait. The default model has six emotion classifications, which is good enough for today's demo, but it's capable of classifying up to 28 emotions, which, if you want to generate 28 character portraits, knock yourself out. So let's go over how to use Stable Diffusion to generate these character portraits with the six different emotions. I'm going to start with just a basic mermaid here. And when that's done, we're just going to send that right over to InPaint. To keep it simple, I'm just going to InPaint the face this time. If you want to get a little bit more fancy, you can do the entire head. And if you want to get super fancy, you can use the Krita plugin, which will let you have finer control. So now that we have our face selected, we're just going to add to the front of the prompt the emotion that we want. And I'm going to start with the what Silly Tavern calls Joy. And that's just also the default emotion whenever the character starts up. So I'm just going to put smiling right at the front, and we'll see what that produces. And that looks good enough. I guess I should show you the in-painting settings. There's nothing crazy going on here. Mostly default settings. The important parts are in-paint whole picture, and the denoising strength is relatively high at 0.75. You want enough denoising to be able to change the face completely. It helps to specify eye color and things like that so that the face doesn't change too much between different emotions. Well, that was easy, so let's go ahead and make her angry. Just gonna put angry right at the, the front of the prompt and we'll see what that produces. Well, she still doesn't look angry enough, so let's increase the strength a little bit and see what that does. Now she looks a little bit weird, so we'll just go with slightly less emphasis on the angry there. That's probably good enough. I could keep tweaking it to make it look better, but... Let's just move on to the next one. Sadness should be pretty easy to do. Let's just put in sad and crying and see what we get. Well, she looks sad. That's good enough for me. Let's move on to the next one, which is surprise. We'll just put in shocked and surprised here and run it. Now that's the surprised mermaid if I ever saw one. We're gonna do fear now. I find this one a little bit tricky just because it tends to resemble sad and frightened a little bit. This one took me a few different tries, so I'll just fast forward through it real quick.
Okay, that took long enough. I'll just pick one of those that I like the most and move on. Just one more to go, and that's love. You can interpret that expression however you want, but I'm just going to make her blush a little bit. I'm also going to just fast forward through this one real quick, because it did take me a couple tries. But here we are. We have all six emotions that we need. Then you just got to come up with a name for your character. I named mine Melanie. You just make a new folder with that character's name inside of the characters folder in Silly Tavern Public. And inside that folder, you just take the images that you generated and name them after the six different emotions. Anger, fear, joy, love, sadness, and surprise. Then we'll pop on over to Silly Tavern and create the new character. Her name is Melanie, of course. Say that she's a mermaid. Make her friendly. That's about it. And since I already have the images set up in the right folder, I'm good to go. And there she is. Let's start talking to her to see if we can elicit some different emotions. Hi. Who are you? I'm Melanie. Nice to meet you. What are you doing here? I just wanted to talk with someone new. Aw, you're so sweet. So, what do you think about me? I think you're weird. Why? You have a tail. Yes, I know. Do you like me? Of course I like you. Well, there it is. It works. If you're having trouble getting it working, just go on to the extra section, make sure that classification is enabled, and make sure that it's loading up all of the different images. If those two things are true, then you should be good to go. That's all I've got for today. Thank you for watching. Hope it was informative. And have fun with your new Pygmalion complex. Down me to down on, and have the head on what does down. Let me see what's raining in that calm zone to down mouth. And you never know Hopefully her Enough of our Don't kiss me Keep my heart with soul And let it fit For in the mold You are all I ever known For all I was In time at the now for what friends they know In the world I love you I love you